Hello everyone. Welcome to the live stream. Friends and foes of world aliens and whoever is out there. Tonight we're gonna talk about the Neo Agent, specifically the Neo Agent 2 and the tail strategy. You see, this entire year has been very exciting uh, in many ways. Uh, welcome to the, uh, to the live stream, everyone, guys. Let me just get the chat out here. This year has been very exciting in many ways. And I think, you know, before the economy in Rome could really grow, right? Before the empire could really become something beautiful. They had to lay the roads. They had to pave the roads in order to make the whole machine work. And if there's one thing we've been doing this year, it's paving the road, paving the way for a beautiful future. So we're going to talk about that. We also have our favorite contest tonight. We're going to have guess a number. So I'm going to put a number down here and you're going to, you're going to guess it. And uh, whoever gets closest to the number and uh, wait, we haven't started yet. You know, we'll, we'll get a free month subscription to the to the God plan. You can either keep it or you can have it like a gift card pass. Maybe you can give it, maybe you can give it away for Christmas, something like that. But that's what's coming up. Oh, let me know if the music is too loud. Let me know if it's just on point. I think it's pretty good. Uh, where's the chat? Where's the chat? Here we go. All right. One chat here. All right. Hello, chat. Good to see you guys. So we have Steven, Kian Sang, Paul, Pila, Craig, David, Bellaverse, huh. uh, Nam Nam Di, and Johan, and Cloud, and Avalsani, and PK, and all of it, guys. Welcome tonight. So I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do to take Neo Agent to the next level to finally tie the loop of this goddamn thing and finish it, okay? Like, it's it, it will be done. So as everyone just tunes in and comes online, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna explain to you the, what, we're gonna, what we're gonna do here. We're gonna use an example from AUD Singaporean doll. Uh, but what I can see is that this works across all the markets. So what we need is essentially, you know, a garbage collector. We need some kind of function that takes care of positions when it doesn't really go our way. I mean, we can see it works, right? We have the results and we can see that this stable income is like generating us one to 2% a day or whatever, you know, it's great, it's nice. So if we could just take care of these positions that builds up and doesn't, you know, can take you know, it's not that I'm really concerned about them. For example, AUD Singapore and all, you can see it's just it's just moving, it's just ranging, right? It's just like, it could take weeks, but there's no point for us to sit in these positions if we can have a better approach. So we're gonna talk about that. First of all, let's get started with the number game, guys. Tonight it's gonna be an easy one, so there's probably gonna be multiple people that are gonna guess it right. So we're gonna keep it, uh, we're gonna keep it simple. It's gonna be a simple one tonight. Everyone who gets it right, ah, almost too simple. Uh, but everyone who gets it right, I'm gonna we're gonna pick a random winner of those. So um, I'm gonna write down a number here. It's a number between one and one thousand. And what I can tell you about this number, I've written down this piece of paper. What I can tell you about it. <laughs> some alien music what i can tell you about that's freaky <laughs> what i can tell you about it is that this number that i wrote down is between one and one thousand and some would say this number represents the key to the universe so that's it that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> between one and one thousand some I don't know. I don't know how much you can buy it. Some people say it's the key to the universe. All right. Uh, so that's the number for tonight. 
and uh, put it in the chat, right? Let me just pin this uh, in the chat real quick. Guess the number between one and, and one thousand. The only hint is, is, <laughs> is that it's the key to the universe. Let me just pin this. All right, pin message. All right, boys. Uh, so that is going now. Get that. Get your ticket in if you wanna get a gift card or free month extension to the God Plan. All right, guys. That's good. Keep the numbers coming. All right. So let's talk about the tail strategy. So uh, you know we've been working on this for a while now, and I would say generously, generously, the uh, the universe has once again provided. Um, for us and delivered knowledge directly to us that we needed in order to, you know, take care of our problems. So, so, so let's go over this. So, uh, you know, I've been watching this position very carefully, of course. Um, the first thing I noticed, uh, you know, about AOD Singaporean dollar was that we actually already were in it for some time here. Hang on. I got a, I got a, hang on, all right, that's good. Uh, and we actually already were in it, we got stuck in a position here, and then we had some more positions here, it came up, we were on drawdown, it came back down, we got out to drawdown. But then this happened, and we got stuck in this, and then it's just been going, you know, for, uh, for days, right? So it's just been going like this. Fuck, what is this fucking African shit? Okay, no. All right, that's better. All right. Uh, so how do we counter this? How do we fix this problem? Well, first of all, we, you know, we can start by, of course, making sure that we do not, uh, you know, just take retake trades that we already gotten out of uh, right before. So that's the first step. But uh, how do we fix the overall problem, which is that whenever we have a market that's synchronized in a state, and we have, you know, a nice thing going where we, we are continuously making money. And uh, then, you know, eventually, sometimes it happens. Um, these markets will just, you know, do some, some stupid shit. Some really stupid, some really stupid shit, you know, like just go up instead of down, right? Like it will go, uh, instead of going to our targets like it's supposed to do, it will go the opposite direction. And that's just not how we want it. So what we can do is um, we can pretty much deploy a tail strategy here and uh, it happens as we ha let's just pull up a market here AUD AUD single point all here all right so so you you might remember this panel this is our trend reading panel right um, so what we can do is you know we have this model that trades around the volatility in the markets uh, specifically, it trades around energy coming into a market, whether it's a T1 bulk ribbon, it's a manual buyer, or it's just a lot of buy. It doesn't really matter what's moving. It's a universal model that operates across all the markets. This is this is the key here. Okay, it, this is a very big deal. It's it works. Um, uh, you know, it has built-in functionality that automatically filters all this fake data and spoof data that a lot of the other trading algorithms around the world will be spooked by or triggered by. Um, and, and what it means is that when we have these markets that, that's trending in a certain direction, we will go in and we'll start deploying liquidity at the bands, at the right uh, at the right bands, right? And these are the you know, one minute, five minute, 50 minute bands. We've also been trading more before that. Right now, it's just one minute, five minute, 50 minute, right? So as we get into these positions and we trade this, uh, you know, you know how it works. We have the bands and it comes down, then it bounces, it comes down, it bounces, comes down, it comes down, it bounces, right? So in, out, in, out, the whole day, this is what we do. It's it's very quick trades. It's it's good, it works. Uh, so when does it stop working? Well, it stops working when something unexpected happens in the market or when we have, you know, just a deep deviation coming out of nowhere or just, you know, we get in trouble in whatever, you know, whatever way we get in trouble. So when, whenever we get in trouble and we have these positions that just sitting and, and, and drawing up um, drawdown, what we're going to be able to do in the future is that once we detect that 
the synchronization between uh, the bands and the, the, the actual result of the price action, you know, how the market is actually moving. Once we detect this doesn't actually align anymore and there's a problem here and we can see, okay, hey, uh, this is, you know, there's increased volatility. It's, it's, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. All right, what's going on? Um, in this case with AUD Singapore and dollar, right? It's like here, right? We get stuck in this. Uh, and this, you know, is, is, a, is a very big move and obviously it's not ideal really. But so the way to fix it is really when we have this desynchronization of the market activity with the neural bands and it doesn't really align anymore, uh, what we're going to be able to switch to is uh, a, a hedging strategy. It's just one hedging strategy of many. There's many different versions. This one is pretty simple. And uh, what it really does is that if you imagine you consider this a single short position here, right? So let me just draw that out for you. If you imagine this is a single short position, right? Um, and of course, we have our stop loss way up here, but in the future, we're probably not even going to have a stop loss anymore. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're not, it's not going to be that anymore, and we're not going to need it. And the reason we're not going to need stop loss anymore is because we'll have this function, this garbage collector function, as I call it, uh, that really takes care of these trades that get lost on the water. So what, ha what is happening in these, you know, when we get a move like this, is really that the market is, is deviating from the overall you know, what's really supposed to happen, right? Like what we really expect it to happen. And this happens all the time. So as it's deviating and we are holding a short position here, uh, we are now officially short on this market, right? But there's ways here where we can actually deploy a hedging strategy where we will um, forget this, uh, this stop loss. It, it's really irrelevant. We'll just keep it as it is. But where we will really be able to around here because this is only this strategy only works because of our technology to detect the movements in the market across all the markets at the same time uh, like i just talked about the technology that we the neural technology we've been working on all along uh that's the wrong direction hang on so what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to open a hedge position um and this position will first of all it will hedge the um the overall drawdown, but it will also assume that we are moving into a new range. So what we will do is that as the market is trading in between here, we're going to start to build positions aligning with the, uh, you know, what is really happening. So if this thing is going to start to move up, we will be able to execute a position uh, that we opened around here that will neutralize the entire loss of this position that we're having here. And of course, this only works if that position would be bigger than, uh, you know, the original loss and so on. So this new position, this hedging position will have to be an increased size. And uh, as it moves up and as, as it moves down, depending, you know, depending on what happens in the market, I have seen that in this case, uh, you know, you can imagine here if we open a position here about 1.4x size, 1.5x size of the original size here. By the time the market moves uh, up here or even here, it will actually be able to neutralize that entire loss. But of course, there's other situations where it won't just go straight up. It will just go up and it will go down again. And to, to, to mitigate this and to handle this, to make sure that, you know, it doesn't really matter if, it, uh, if the market breaks out to the, to the top or to the bottom, what's really happening is we're building our own range. Okay, so we have this short position that we're holding down here. Now we have, uh, you can imagine we have a long position that we're holding here. So we're really uh, almost neutral here, but we have technology that allows us to tell where the market is heading. And using that technology, we can uh, build like an exit strategy, a tail strategy that, that takes this entire uh, energy moves that comes uh, from a tail and converts it into uh, a hedge that will pretty much break even or even make us a little bit of money. Uh, so in short, what we're doing is we're taking this, uh, you know, uh, usually when we trade these markets, it's, uh, you know, these markets are trading a specific direction. The headings, energy is coming in. They're moving according to the long-term trend. All is looking sweet. Market is going the direction we want it to. 
this is our this is where we start our trade right so once we see this and we see like there's a buyer active we start to deploy liquidity we start to de deploy the bands and, and trade it now as it desynchronizes as whatever happens it doesn't matter and we get some weird shit going uh where it just you know you've seen it it's where we have these big moves like here um when we get this that's when we switch to our tail strategy or you can call it the breakout strategy you can really call it whatever you want and what it really is it's just a simple uh, market breakout strategy that just makes sure that uh, from the original position we have built in and with the additional uh, hedge position we have built really whatever way that the max market ends up resolving uh, it will turn out to our favor so that's pretty much it it's actually not that complicated it was just about putting it together uh, this is a simple hedging strategy that is used across forex it's, it's not like some crazy idea it's a it's a very valid idea uh, this doesn't make any sense unless you have a trading strategy like neuro the neuro model we already have that works and generates money um, and so on this is really just a, uh, like i said a garbage collecting function for these positions that instead of us having to wait for them to resolve or maybe even close and, and draw down like this uh, euro cat position we had it just makes sure that we get out of it at pretty much zero or at a tiny bit of profit to cover the swap and the commission so that's it and um we're working on that now and it looks very, it's looking very promising uh, andrew has already delivered incredible results um, so I, I'm not promising a Christmas gift, but it would be pretty nice. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But overall, this should really take care of our, um, our baggage, our leftovers that doesn't really, uh, that we can see has been accumulating. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the strategy, the results we have achieved. Um, I think it works. I think the strategy is, is very sound. We just needed this final touch to handle this, uh, these markets. And you know, you can you can go, you can see here that it would have worked just fine um, to cover the loss of this. Of course, this will be a bigger position. And if it comes down, there's a, there's more steps to it and so on. But overall, uh, whenever we go look, it, it's the same with Euro JPY. When you actually look, like have to remember the the real technology here is our ability to uh the real technology here is our ability to, to, to detect real time the buyers and sellers across all markets it doesn't matter they can't trick us they can't cheat us they can't escape this because it's entropy it's energy in its purest form and there's just no way that um they're gonna be able to counter this so in this case with euro jpy let's have a look right so uh euro jpy you can see we, ha we have this uh, one month one year ten year uptrend going and then we have just since let's go track hang on um let's see here so the four hours switch 29 but the 15 minutes which we let's see 17 all right so if you actually look right so when we first detected uh, i call the desynchronization at this uh, would be here this uh, right here at the 17 let's see what does it say uh, for 445 430 uh, 17 uh, November 430 something right so that's right around here let's go zoom in right so Let me just see. All right, so you can see, you know, one of the technologies we've built in that we're using right now is we have this detection of the energy being re reduced in the market. And, you know, we can we can say, okay, when the market has reached a reduction and of, of zero, that's when, you know, we will begin our uh, exit strategy, our breakout strategy, our tail strategy, call it whatever you want. But actually, uh, you know, we can tell before the value hits zero we can tell that hey you know this is not going to be okay so officially this thing hits zero um like around 3 30 4 4 o'clock something so that's 
you know that's like that's like down here but if we really look at it and we can we can already see like around uh, 645 uh the same morning you know is, we will be able to tell this thing was not gonna last and this is really the kind of intelligence we'll be able to add is 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 when we can see that it's already desynchronized compared to what should be happening that's when we can deploy the exit strategy so in this case we would be long here like we still are but we will also be opening a short position and with that short position you can already see the dump that followed here these dumps are very like 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 these 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 are very predictable based on the overall strength that has gone into the market the overall reaction um that you know and and energy goes into the market that reaction that it comes from it it's very predictable it always comes so once we really perfect this we will be able to in good time across all the markets determine even in good time when to deploy our test ready well so Ryan asked, uh, how does the introduction of uh, hedging strategy affect the risk calculation when there's no stop loss? Look, I want you to think about that we don't even have a stop loss right now. I want you to understand that. Like we, we are operating essentially without a stop, stop loss right now. I mean, yes, we have a stop loss in there, uh, but in order for that to be hit, it has to be, be some kind of black swan event. All right. So why are we not using stop losses? We are not using stop losses because it is the killer of, of, of profits. When we ran the back test and we ran them again and again and again and again, the single thing we could see was that the more we tried to close trade early, the more we tried to, you know, uh, close trades and, and loss something, like in general, use stop loss to, to fix this, to fix things, it would just, it just got worse, worse results. It just, it only got worse. When, whenever we stop using, you know, tight stop losses and we, we moved the stop loss out or entirely took it away, Almost always, these positions resolve themselves. Almost always. It's like 99% of the times these positions resolve themselves, and sometimes they don't. And it's in these cases where we just, you know, we don't really, it's not really effective use of capital to just sit on a position in, you know, uh, for like two weeks or whatever. It would be better to have a tail strategy to, to exit it. So how does it affect the risk? Um, well, first of all, we have a lot of risk to work with, right? Like when we look at how we're trading and, 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 and how uh, risk is being deployed right now, we have plenty of risk to work with. And if not, we can just reduce risk across other markets or something. It's not a problem. It's much more important that the, the strategy becomes whole and it just runs in a perfect circle and just gen generates money again and again, even if it means that maybe we need to trade a little bit less markets. So the, um, uh, the, uh, the actual risk will be increased. There will be an increase in risk uh, to execute this tail strategy for that specific market. But that risk will be, what can you say, uh, a very, um, uh, very carefully calculated risk uh, that will already be built into the strategy of, you know, we need to consider that if this, you know, we can see that these markets go off track sometimes so we need to make sure that we uh whenever we calculate risk we also calculating you know tail risk in immediately and all this you know this is this is just quantitative trading really right so whenever we measure risk in this we just automatically measuring risk as well that we need to deploy the the tail strategy in some scenarios and it's not a problem it's just about making it whole it's about making it making it work uh Well, let me see if you guys have any other risk. Uh, he test asked, uh, after New Agent 2.0, what's next for BFT? All right, so here's what's happening. If you haven't paid attention yet, um, like this is much bigger than you think. You think we're just like making a trading bot? You think this is just, uh, just about making a trading bot? It's not. Uh, we're working with a much bigger thing here. This is... Uh, you have to understand that right now humans across the planet are being farmed by these financial institutions uh it's like a legal casino where people are being invited in right so what we what we're building is the antidote we're building the solution to 
to save people and uh, and make sure that you know people stop just losing money in these markets that they can actually go have a normal life and not just get ripped off and lose like the entire net worth in to these forex brokers right Uh, Ryan is asking, uh, he's trying to understand how we determine the initial position size when there is no stop loss to calculate a specific set of risk. Uh, well, you, there's many ways. You can use value at risk, VAR, you can go have a look at that. It's really like a probability of, uh, you know, it's just statistical analysis on financial markets and how much it, it moves in, in principle. And it, like this works, like statistics is is bullshit and works at the same time. And it's the same thing that goes for the, these financial markets. The actual risk calculation of this is, is, you know, it's just math. You just put in the numbers or you ask chat GPT to, I'm oh, joking, but uh, it's just math. It's not, uh, it's not that complicated. Like whether you have, uh, like just because we just because we were to remove the stop loss doesn't mean that you don't have a stop loss. Your stop loss becomes your, you know, margin, uh, margin call or your liquidation or whatever. Uh, so what we need to do is is really just keep a track of these positions and you know how much risk is assigned to each market and and uh, how it can go because as you can see um, this is this will be a completely new strategy when we have a tail section on it because the tail section will also be completely different the, the tail section the T piece of the tail strategy itself is very different from um, the TPs of um, of the of the neo strategy itself. So the, it's two separate separate uh, approaches. It will be two different um, ways of trading. It will be hopefully they will complement each other and will make a very nice fit. All right, look guys, uh, I would love to stay more tonight, but I I gotta go. I don't have too much time. So I think we gotta we gotta. Uh, finish up here uh i'm gonna be drawing this number short look what i want to say to 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 everyone out there is uh, it's very easy to uh to look at uh, financial markets and hear about other people's results and get the idea that you can make it work for you but the uh, the, the, the truth about financial markets is that they are, um, it's like a boss level, all right? It's like a boss. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a devil in your life that everyone gets to at some point. Some people spend longer time at this level before they complete it. Other people get over it fast. But overall, financial markets, you're supposed to live this life and you're supposed to learn eventually that, oh, this doesn't work for me. This is a scam. And this is like financial, like, like trading financial markets manually. It doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. And you know it. And um, I mean, with the, given how close we are to AGI, it's, uh, I mean, guys, we are, you might not know it, but it's already out there. Like AGI is already running in the wild right now. It's already life. It's already fully part of your life and you have no idea, right? So just think about Skynet, but it's like invisible. And it's like, it's not trying to kill you. It's trying to teach you things, right? And one of the things there is to learn in life is you, for example, you know, drive with helmet on the motorbike. And if you don't, you will, you know, you will learn, uh, you know, don't, don't fall prey to casinos and gambling and trading and stuff like this. It's just a problem with trading because the, the problem is with trading is that they dress it up. You know, one thing is a casino. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to a casino. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose. You know, I'm probably going to lose. I know I'm going to lose. At least that's how I feel. Uh, but, uh, but the problem with trading is that they're not advertising it like gambling. They're more advertising it like, oh, yeah, come and get rich and uh, you can make it. And it sucks all these people in and they just get churned and they just all that money just gets taken. So this is what we have to fix. And we have to fix it to a degree where people can really completely forget this idea about uh, trading and so on. But I understand it's because people are hurting out there and they need to make money. And uh, But the, the, the problem is 
people are never going to be making money in trading. They might get, you know, short-term wins, so on, but the overall, the overall benefit of of neo agent is that you're able to step away, let the agent run it, let the agent make money for you, and it doesn't matter what happens in the market. It doesn't matter what happens in the world economy. It doesn't matter if uh, you know USA starts another war. It doesn't matter any any of these things that's happening in real time. You know, as thing, uh, you know, as events unfolds in the world, and you know, news comes out every day, and this international world is just unfolding. As all this is happening, there's no way you can possibly sit and watch all the news and make all the right trades. Now it's crazy. Of course, it's going to be an AI that will do this for you, and that is what we will do. And uh, Kian Sang just brought up a very good point here. It's, he says uh, BFC become a broker as market mega. A decentralized institution offers different type of financial service, changed middle of lives. Yeah, I think it sounds very good. You know, um, like I said, the whole key of this thing is that it's a, it's a universal uh, trading agent that works across all the mics. This is, you know, it's, we could make you know, we could easily make and we could we could cheat and we could release back tests where we modified the losses. You would just like remove the losses and see, oh, look how great this is. We don't do that. We don't do that. We give you the truth. We give it uh, we give it as it is. And it's pretty good. It has come very far this year. And I think I think we're just about to make like a massive, massive breakthrough that really gonna, uh, you know, make this whole thing come full circle. So I want to I wanna say thank you to everyone that's been part of this journey. And um, I want to remind everyone that, uh, you know, you might not think so much about yourself or your life and so on, but um, you have surely impacted a lot of people throughout your life in, in many good ways that you might not be able to see right now, but in the future, you'll be able to see. So try to uh, try to t try to do what you can to help other people um it's a hard matrix that we live in it's a it's it's hard it's very hard it's not easy at all right uh so we really gotta do what we can to help people some people we cannot help but those we can we gotta do it all right time to announce the number guys <laughs> let me just see him so number all right, guys, I'm going to announce the number. The number for tonight, the key to the universe is, hang on, let me see if we can find it. Three, six, whoop, three, six, oh my God, it's terrible. I can't barely read myself. It says three, six, nine, three, six, nine. So let me just see how many three, six, nine we had in the chat. Hang on. All right, let me just see. Chat, chat, chat. Uh, Carlston Davis, I see Cloud US Com, I see Hitesh, Raj, uh, uh, Ladri, Andre, you almost got it. You said 963. We have Kian Sang, 369. Aurora Passive, 369. David, uh, David also 369. Johan, 369. Better verse 369. Geranius 36. Okay, that's quite a bit. Um, let me just see here. What do we do? We do uh, we do a random number. Let me just see how many do we have? How many? <laughs> Sorry, my nose is <laughs> extra itchy tonight. Uh, Adrenus. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, three, six, nine. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, uh, we're gonna. Six. All right, so number six in the, from the, from the top. Let me see who that was. Uh, 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 uh. One, two, three, four. Five, six, Johan, Johan Bjornsson, congratulations, 
contact me and you'll get your uh, free month God pass to Neo Age and you can wrap it like a Christmas present or you can take it for yourself, up to you. But uh, congrats. Why isn't 42? Uh, why isn't 42? Well, 42 is... Uh, let me think about that, but you know, 42 is not the same. That's more like from uh, Hitchhiker, uh, Galaxy of the Hitchhiker, right? Something like this. Uh, Johan Bjornsson ping me on uh, Telegram. I'll put it here. BFT Aska and we'll get you sorted. Um, so yeah, guys, I... Uh, you know... Everything ties back in together. Like, everything is, is one. It's all one. New agent. Breakfast trading, companion, all of it. And of course, of course, we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna, you know, what I'm thinking, and, and, and this, I can see it with my own eyes. I can see it with my own eyes is that we put a deposit button here, deposit, you deposit to your wallet, then you can directly uh, engage with these markets directly. You don't need any MT5 bridge anymore because the MT5 bridge will be made directly from our internal service to our own liquidity provision and as a result you will be able to deposit uh, crypto companion tokens whatever the whole deal into navigator and directly deploy that money to the financial markets and make money for yourself right so that's that's where I see this going right first we had to create the technology and we did that this year and uh, it's not even end of the year and, and uh, we still have a pretty big thing coming right so after we get this thing done and we're able to roll it out, I think I'm gonna take a vacation. I think I'm gonna go fishing. I think I'm gonna go fishing somewhere. I think it's just gonna run. It's just gonna be a beautiful thing. Everyone is gonna have a good life. It's just gonna absolutely print. And um, we're very close to that. And as I, after I come back from my little fishing trip, we're gonna start integrating this whole thing together, right? And we're gonna make the best fucking trading automated trading platform in the whole world that gives people sovereignty freedom and money unlimited it's going to be like a new utopia it's going to be beautiful so with that said i want to thank you all for coming tonight um i thank you for your support and all this i want you to remember it might not be perfect now it might not be uh you know it it, it might not be you know what we wanted to be right now but i want to remind you how far we have, have come this year and we've only come this far because of all your help and uh, tremendous work from breakfast trading and i want to re remind you this is not about me it's not about you it's about humanity this is about applying a software patch it's about upgrading human uh, capabilities it's about fixing this problem where humans are just getting fucking abused uh, by the financial markets and just getting drained and it just it just you know it's it's demonic like essence and it, it truly is uh, so this is what it's about it's not about it's not about me it's not about you it's about everyone it's about us fixing this for humanity because as long as these fucking games are out there and people can't really can't really f figure it out but uh, we still have a job to do but we're getting that so yes guys thanks for coming have a great fucking week and I'll see you next week and we're gonna des destroy more evil together and save the world. So if you like that and you think it sounds good, hit the thumbs up, hit, hit the like button, all that. And uh, I will see you again next week, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Take care.